Joining us now to talk about this is uh, Anthony Riccio with Monterey Security. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. You know, we had obviously just within the last two months, we had this other huge assassination attempt. Uh, is it worrisome that someone was able to get that close to the former president again? It, it certainly is. And actually, this is the third really planned or attempted assassination. There's a man being arraigned in New York today uh, with ties to Iran. So this is really the third uh, attempt on the president. Um, and it is very concerning. This time, the Secret Service plan worked. They were there, and they were able to, to stop it before this man actually got a shot off. It did, but knowing that there are previous attempts and that because he's not a sitting president, he doesn't sort of get the protection that a president right. gets, is the golf course the best place to be? Well, you're certainly exposed. I mean, there's obviously it's hard to secure an area as large mm -hmm. as a golf course. Um, and if you think of the planning that went into this, um, Ruth hung two bags on a fence that had ceramic plates in them. And ceramic plates are typically used to stop bullets or deflect bullets. Mm -hmm. He left an area open in the middle for himself to sit there mm -hmm. with his rifle. And uh, so it was really a, a very serious attempt. And I, and I brought with, I brought a prop. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is the bullet that's fired out of an AK-47. It's basically like a little missile. I mean, hitting somebody with this can really do some yeah. serious damage. It kill people most of the time. And that's what he had with him. He had that AK-47. And even a step further than that, he had a scope on it. And when you're at a distance of a couple hundred yards and you have a scope, you're very accurate. You can hit exactly what you're aiming for. Can I ask you, as a former law enforcement officer, do you think it's okay for civilians to have AK-47s with scopes? It's certainly concerning when you see something like that because of the, the damage that they can do and the, and the accuracy of the shooting, the size of the bullet. So uh, it's definitely concerning. I mean, as a law enforcement officer, we see a lot of those on the streets. There's a lot of them on the streets of Chicago as well. So it's definitely a, a dangerous weapon to have out there. When you hear of something like this, when you first heard about this, what's your first reaction? Secret Service failed to secure things ahead of time? I mean, obviously, they prevented it in enough time, right, right. or is it that... There should have been more agents with him. What was your so reaction? So I think my first reaction is Trump's guardian angels working overtime. I mean, if you think about how the Secret Service agent actually spotted this guy, the, the barrel of the rifle was sticking through the fence. So you have this heavily wooded shrub fence, and a Secret Service agent was essentially able to see what amounts to a little black pipe sticking through right. the fence. I mean, that's some incredible luck, really. I mean, I'd like to say but it was should skill. it take luck? I mean, shouldn't there be more people around an Absolutely. area like that, right? Absolutely. The planning to secure. I mean, we've seen now, like I yeah. said, three attempts on him. Um, they really need to beef up the perimeters, and which is apparently where the, the attempts are going to come from. Yeah. From what you've heard about this suspect, does anything jump out at you? Well, he's... He, he truly worked hard on his plan, and that's the thing that really jumps out at me. He came here from Hawaii, so this wasn't like a random thing. Trump happened to be in his area, in his neighborhood. And he, he came all the way from Hawaii. He set up. He brought these ceramic plates. He had a GoPro camera wired to the fence to view it. So uh, I think the, he was really a, a determined assassin. It, yeah, it makes you wonder if he was following him or something. It's not like they, the, 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 the campaign puts out a statement saying, we're going to be golfing right. today. Right. And, and that's the other thing, too. Th this was not on Trump's schedule yeah. anywhere. So how does he know? He's alive. They took him into custody. And hopefully they'll be able to talk to him and get all this information yeah. out and uh, unravel some of this. Anthony, thank you so much for joining thank us you. this morning. Thank Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's take a look at some of the other stories making news this morning. One of the founding members of the Jackson 5 has passed away.